Hey there, everyone. Today, I want to cover the highlights of the recent changes announced for the Social Security program beginning in 2024. Now, some of this I've already covered in more depth, so I'll mostly keep this video to the headlines and likely dive in deeper on certain pieces later on. Now, first up, we're going to talk about the cost of living adjustment and how that will affect the average Social Security benefit. Then we'll move on to the average wage index and all the changes that come from that. So things like the amount required for one credit, the windfall elimination provision, the Social Security formula, the maximum taxable wage base, the earnings limit. Now, it may sound strange here that I would encourage you to skip this video. But look, if you want to see all of this, you can simply download my Social Security cheat sheet, which has just been updated for 2024. This is just two pages with all the things you need to know about Social Security. I'm going to put a link down in the description where you can get yours if you want to get that. So let's get started first with a cost of living adjustment. For 2024, benefits will increase by 3.2%. This is going to drive up the average Social Security benefit by varying amounts depending on the type of benefit it is. The average benefit across all retired workers is increasing from $1,827 to $1,907. For a couple who are both collecting benefits, this is increasing from $2,939 to $3,033. And the average survivor's benefit is increasing from $1,718 to $1,773. And last, the average disability payment is increasing from $1,489 to $1,537. And then next up, we have the average wage index. This changes a lot. It controls just about all the annual changes to Social Security. And it's important to note that there's always a two-year lag in the average wage index. So the number that was just released was the wage index for 2022. That's increasing from 60575.07 to 63795.13. So a change of 5.2%. Three two percent. Now, it's the 2022 wage index that sets the earnings limit, maximum taxable wage base, the annual Social Security formula, the indexing factor for past wages, and a lot more. But that 2022 wage index sets it for 2024. So let's dive into some of those. First, let's cover the Social Security formula. This is often referred to as the bin point formula, and it's used to calculate your final benefit amount. And if you want to see more details on how this formula is used, you may want to check out my video, How Social Security Retirement Benefits Are Calculated in Three Easy Steps. And as I was getting the link for that to put down in the description, I realized that I need to redo that video. Not that it has incorrect information. It's just a little dated at this point. But essentially, there are two separate points in this calculation that typically change every year. The first bin point is increasing from $1,115 to $1,174. And the second bin point is increasing from $6,721 to $7,078. Now, the current year formula is only used to calculate the benefits of those who turn 62 in that year. So if that's you, this is the formula that's going to be used. And then up next, we have the windfall elimination provision reduction amount. This is a provision that impacts those who have a pension from a job where they didn't pay Social Security taxes. And since this reduction amount is generally 50% of the first bend point that we just talked about, we know that that's going to be increasing from $558 to $587. And then we have the maximum taxable wage base. This is the maximum amount of wages that are subject to Social Security taxes. In 2024, the wage base will be $168,600. Any earnings you have over that threshold are not subject to the Social Security portion of the FICA tax. And the last big change is the earnings limit for retirement benefits. This is the amount of earnings you're allowed to have while you are collecting Social Security if you are under full retirement age. So if you make more than $22,320 in 2024, Social Security Administration will withhold $1 in benefits for every $2 over that amount that you earn. Then there is the exception for that year that you attain full retirement age, the calendar year, not the 12-month period. During that period, the 
earnings limit that will apply nearly triples from the first amount all the way up to $59,520. And then the withholding amount on dollars earned over that limit is not as steep either. For every $3 over the limit, the administration withholds $1 in benefits. And again, very important, at full retirement age and beyond, there is no earnings limit. Now, this is a topic that I've already covered for 2024, where I cover not only the earnings limit, but I answer a lot of the questions that I'm asked all the time about this. And that, along with all the other resources I've mentioned, is going to be down in the description. So those are the big items. But as always, there's going to be things that pop up during the year. And when they do, I'll be right here telling you about them. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell too. And again, if you want a written version of all the stuff that we've just covered and then some, you can download my social security cheat sheet. Again, it's going to be down in the description. Thanks so much for watching.